Hello everyone, this is Joanna and I came back this evening. You probably won't see this video until tomorrow because I forgot in my excitement over my Bath and Body Works <laughs> um, items that I had a few more items that I wanted to share with you guys. I went to Gabe's for the first time and when I heard of Gabe's, when I saw it here, I didn't know what it was until I checked it out on YouTube. I actually thought it was a restaurant. It sounded like it would be a restaurant. So I went in there and I found just a couple of things because I just went in there to waste time yesterday. But I also stopped in Yankee Candle and they had this in there for like $4.99. And this is a Yankee Candle melt cup. And I don't have a melter, but I have been told that I could break this up into manageable size pieces and use this in my... Um, I guess wax melt warmer that I have from Bath and Body Works because I watched Tina D. Delicious on here and I shot him that question and he said yes I can take this out of here but the thing that made me buy this is it smells so good. <laughs> I don't even have what I need for this and I don't plan on buying one of those because I saw that the one that I was looking at was $34. So I will try to do this like that but like I said I have not used either of the two that I hauled on here and this scent was honey lavender gelato and i really did like the way it smelled and then of course i had purchased a couple of snacks this i get a whole lot um i have this ham sandwich that i like to make it's pretty filling it's just something when i just want something quick and fast it's the double g ham the lunch meat ham and i get this oatmeal bread that's actually really good i have shown that on here before and i've probably shown these but these chips with that ham is really good but due to the vending machines at work, I've had a new chip obsession, and that has been these Crunchers Jalapeno Chips. In the machines, they're really, really good when you get the little, bo um, little bag. They're really, really good, but I'm kind of hooked on these, and a friend of mine at work is hooked on them too. So when I first got these, they were $2.50 for two or $5, so they were $2.50 a piece. Other than that, I believe these might be $2.99. This is $3.59, so... I didn't look at that, but I want to share with you what I got from Gabe's. Now, I was in there. I didn't think that I liked much that was in there. I basically went looking at their nail polish, and they did have some OPIs in there. And one of them was $2, and it was something about Universe, but it wasn't the right color. And I can see now how some of those places get polishes. It was OPI. It was dark purple. But the color that it said it was, I knew that it wasn't that color. The other OPIs that were the right color... Um, they had that pineapples have peelings too. Those were $3.99. But I thought this cup was cute because my daughter likes New York. And this cup was just $3.99. And I got this. I told her if there would have been two, I would have gave it to her. So she was miffed that I didn't give her this one. But I thought this was cute. And I'm just seeing right now today it says taxi on the inside. But what I actually did like while I was in Gabe's were their purses. Because you know I'm always talking about I like um, to carry a cheaper purse when it comes to work for my locker because I don't want to shove my expensive purses in there but I found this purse right here and it was $17.99 it's not real leather it's that soft material like I don't know if they call this like faux pebble grain leather or something but I really did like this purse it has compartments here the zipper part I can use for my change because I have to have a lot of change I can have like spare money up here that I just want to dip into right here. I can have an ink pen, you know, hopefully it don't leak. Because a lot of the things that mess up the purses I like are my ink pens leaking or some lipstick or makeup item leaking. And so I have to be careful what I put in here. But this is just the right size for my locker. It's got a space on the back. Like I can put the regular size envelopes when I want to mail something and I want to put some stamps down in here um, or if I just have a little pad of paper and a little pen so I really do like this now I'm just now opening it up while I'm here with you guys and I'm seeing all these compartments here on the inside that I can probably slide my phone down into depending on if it's in a case or not so I am really liking um, the insides and the outsides of this purse and I will probably try to fill it up today or tomorrow the only thing I hate is I can really put wear and tear on these kinds of purses by shoving them in my locker. I have tried to clean my locker out at work. I know that I've cleaned it out, but it's that kind of mess that I've taken a lot out. But to the person looking at it, you would think I didn't take anything out. 
and it's that kind of mess that makes people respond is your house like that because I mean I shove things in my locker I have paperwork from when I got hired which turned out to be a good thing when I needed a certain number to access my codes to do in services online I have old check stubs old schedules but I am going through all that to straighten it out and then this purse will fit in that locker just fine um, but I really do like this now more today than I did when I looked at it and I like that the strap is adjustable because you heard me say that I like straps and that purple purse that I had a lot of people like that but the way that it was made and I got that at Kohl's it would flip upside down and depending on what I had in there stuff would fall out like I could just be walking or if I adjust it it would just flip and it was almost like I think that's why Kohl's got it because of the way the straps were on there well these straps here are straight across and so I do like that and I can make this long or make it short you know to adjust it when I'm wearing a coat a jacket or nothing so I might go back and get another one of these as a backup and I usually I never repeat my purses even my cheap ones but I think I'm gonna like this a whole lot so I'm gonna fill it up like I said today or tomorrow and we're gonna see but I just wanted to share this in my enthusiasm I forgot all about this stuff and until the next time everyone have a great day i am going to go back to gabe's and look at some more bags because i like those big carry-all bags just bags you throw everything in when you're going out somewhere or like you want to put books and magazines in for a trip so i'm definitely going back for their bags so until the next time everyone have a great day